Hey, what's up world? This is Eric. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a solar charge controller for any e-bike. First, you're going to need a portable solar panel. For this, I went with an all-power 100 watt solar panel. Um, the reason I went with this one is because it's foldable. Um, some of the other people I've seen uh, doing similar things were using the Flex, but I really don't have much, any way to carry the Flex. So this one definitely gives me the ability. Um, I got three of these and I'm going to be taking them onto a bike tour. They weigh about 4.7 pounds a piece, plus all the accessories needed, uh, guidelines, uh, paracords, and th those type of things. Um, this panel basically, Folds out to become a much larger panel. So that's how you get the 100 watt potential out of it. And then the next thing you're going to need, because you can't uh, charge directly from the solar panel, because this is uh, 18 volts. Um, bike battery is 48 volts. Uh, it charges up to 54.6 volts on this guy here. So to achieve basically converting between the solar panel and this battery, what I went out and got is the cheapest MPPT boost charge controller. Uh, this guy runs you anywhere from 40 to, well I've seen them as high as uh, $70 online. You can find uh, both these, the solar panel and the controller down in the description below. Oh, and also the battery if you need one. It's a good battery, 20 amp. But um, this basically allows you to take just about any lower voltage, uh, anywhere up or around 16 volts and boost it upward. So in this, my case, to the 54.6. And I added these XT6050 connections into the side of it. They basically screw into the terminals there. Later on, I may solder in some to have direct ports for the XT60s into it. Um, from there, basically, I run what I got as an extension cord XT60. That's fun saying that over and over. XT60 cable that basically plugs into the battery side here and then plugs into the battery. I made a little adapter here that basically goes into the three bullet connections, which currently adapt into the solar panel controller, uh, unless I later on modify that into a different one. But for now, I'm going to use the battery as a simulated solar panel so I can boot this little guy up here because it is really hot outside. It's Phoenix, Arizona, so you're just going to have to trust me. It, it, <laughs> it all works. does have a fan on it. It is one of the downsides, one of the cheaper ones. You can see the incoming voltage at the moment. It's not a solar panel, it's my battery. So it's at 54.5, which is pretty much a full charge on there. It backed off a little bit. But here you can, let's turn this off. Go into set, set. Okay, here I can basically set my charge voltage. How you find out what your charge voltage is, is you look at your charger, it'll tell you your max charge on it. Like for my uh, 48 volt, it says on it 54.6, uh, which is its full value. And yeah, basically that that right there will charge any, any battery. Um, there is also a more expensive one I am looking at. It has a little bit better of uh, solar tracking. This one, when the sun comes overhead, Unfortunately, it takes a while to recover the voltage back up to full potential, so you have a little bit of loss as you're sitting there waiting for it to get back up to speed. But with two panels, which I have three total, I was able to charge over 400 watts using, using half the sun and uh, some paracords. Um, that'll be a later video. I'll show how basically to use paracords to get, get this up in just a few minutes. Um, and be able to get it down really quick. But like I said, yeah, that's a that's another video. But yeah, this this is basically how you uh, charge charge an e-bike using any any solar panel, um, and it also can be any any uh, e-bike battery. It can be a 24 volt, a 36, a 48, a 72, any any of them. It's able to do. 
Um, I th believe it's able to do solar panels up to 70. Don't, don't quote me on that. And it handles about a 15 amp input, 10 amp out. So this, these batteries usually recommend around five for that. But anyways, that's how you build a solar e-bike charger. I thought I would share that with everybody. It's pretty cool. It, uh, it's going to allow me to do e-bike tours where there are no hotels for me to plug into. Uh, so I can go on far back roads. I'd be able to charge my drone, um, charge my phone, everything. So anyways, you can find all these products down in the description below. If you could buy any of them through it, it does help me out a little bit. Um, I try to constantly review things and update any, anything that's changed with them. So try to keep things as honest as I can be. Anyways, have a good one.